welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be sharing my Kors collection. As you guys know, I am a huge Kors fan and I just love Brian Donnelly aka Kors so much and I know he's been super popular over the last few years because he's had some huge collaboration like with Uniqlo and Dior and those Jordan 4s that I still do not have. I feel like one day I really need a pair of the Jordan 4s but the thing is the smallest size I'm pretty sure is a men's 7 but then again I always buy shoes that are not my size. So yeah, that's definitely on the list of things that I want to get eventually. Um, but yeah, anyway, today I thought I'll share with you guys some of the pieces that I've picked up over the years. And I know my collection is pretty small compared to a lot of people, but I thought it would still be fun to share with you guys. Now, Kors has been in the art scene since like late 90s, early 2000s. Um, and I've been following his work for quite a while now and I just really, really, I just really love him. <laughs> That's all I can say and I just love his work and I just wish I had more pieces. Um, so yeah, I thought I'll just start off by showing you some of the vinyls that I have. So I'm going in no particular order. So the first one here I have is the companion so all the guys that look like that um, they are called the companion and the companion is actually like the reformulation or like an appropriation of Mickey Mouse if you guys didn't know that because you can see like with the gloves and the shoes it definitely has a Mickey Mouse kind of vibe but he has put his own like twist to it and he has called them companion. You notice with his other characters as well like the BFF kind of looks like Elmo and then like Chum kind of looks like the Michelin Man so you guys kind of get the idea of how he goes about his characters. This one here is called Small Lies and he does have this like really long nose which is like a Pinocchio nose and he did do a Pinocchio I think in 2010. I picked this up in New York last year at Gallery Periton. I'm pretty sure this first came out in 2017 but I only got mine last year and I saw this as well when I went to the course exhibition in Gallery Periton in Tokyo in 2018. It was a really really small exhibition. They did have these for sale but in Tokyo you had to buy a set of three. They wouldn't let you just buy one and so I didn't want to spend too much money at that time so I passed on it and when I came back I kind of regretted it so when I saw it in New York I bought it straight away and also in New York you can just buy one so yeah I picked this up I can't remember the retail price for this anymore but I'll try my best to list and link everything in the description bar below uh, the thing is though all these pieces or like any of the course pieces you kind of have to get it at a secondary market at this stage obviously if you go to like certain galleries and stuff they might still have it for retail but generally if it's an older release you wouldn't have to pay a uh, resale um, but yeah I'll list and link it down below anyway for you guys so this guy is called passing through and in 2010 course had an exhibition in Hong Kong and that's when he had a sculpture of the passing through and he came out with the vinyls in 2013 and then they re-released it in 2018 which was when I got mine I saw this on kick SDW story for quite a decent price so I got it immediately when I saw that story I can't remember how much I paid now but it was like it was alright so this is in the grey colorway the companion usually comes in a grey colorway a brown colorway as well as an all black I usually go for the brown if I had to pick um, but for this one because they only had grey when they posted it on the story uh, I was just like yeah give it to me so that's why I got the passing through in the grey next up let's talk about these guys so I've spoken about them in my previous video when I picked them up at the NGV exhibition so of course did have an exhibition here in Melbourne it was called companionship in the age of loneliness and he designed these guys oh my god this is so dusty <laughs> So he designed these for the exhibition here in Melbourne. They are called Gone. Again, it comes in three different colorways. I have two colorways. So the brown one with the 
blue BFF and then the other one is gray with the pink BFF. The retail price for this was a little bit higher than I expected. It was 940 Australian dollars and I actually did have the all black one last year but then I ended up like retail assisting someone so I just gave it to them for retail which now I really really regret because I feel like if you have two you kind of need the third one if that makes any sense at all. I feel like you need a set and now I feel like it's missing something. Um, but I don't actually have any of the all black like companion. Yeah, I don't usually go for the all black. But the all black of the Gone is really cool because they had a huge sculpture of the all black Gone in the NGV during the exhibition. So yeah, it would have been nice if I kept it but I... I sold it, unfortunately. And then in front here, I have the BFF. So I'm sure you guys are like super familiar with these guys. They came out in 2016 as in like the character. It's like a newer character in terms of like cause of work. So I got the blue one first because initially the blue one was like a MoMA edition. And then later on, he came out with the pink one as well as the all black one. I want to pick up the all black one. They did have it in stock at the NGV the last time I went but then we're under lockdown here in Melbourne now so the gallery is closed so I don't know whether they still have any stock of that but yeah I think in terms of resale though the pink one is definitely worth the most because when he did the collaboration with Dior for the spring summer 19 line there was like a huge pink BFF in the middle of the runway I'm sure you guys have seen that show and I love that show and yeah, when that first collection came out, I was just like, Dior, take all my money. <laughs> so I do have a few pieces from that collection, which I'll show you guys later. This jumper is actually one of them. Another thing about the pink BFF is that when he did the Dior collaboration, they also came out with two Dior Course plushie. And those were, first of all, almost impossible to get and then also super expensive. The retail price for each of those dolls, I'm pretty sure was like 8,000 or 9,000 Australian dollars. And the thing is, apparently even if you had like the money to like pay for it or for like a like deposit or like, do you know what I mean? Even if you wanted it, Dior wouldn't just sell it to everyone. And apparently you had to be like an elite customer or something like that to, buy that um, plushie. So I've seen them in person and it just looks incredible. It comes like in a glass case and everything and they're all numbered. One of them wears a suit, the other one wears like this denim kind of outfit. And yeah, it's just super cool. Like Coors has definitely done some incredible collaboration over the years. Like Dior is just one of the more recent one, but like in the past he's collaborated with like Supreme, Comme des Garçons, like undercover Visvim, like he has just done some really, really cool work. I feel like this whole video, I'm just like fangirling about like his work. But anyway, back to the BFF. Um, yeah, I have the pink one and the blue one. And also they do have a pink BFF plushie, which I really want, um, but it is also like quite expensive. So I am not ready to drop like over a thousand dollars for that pink BFF plushie, but maybe one day. I don't know. In terms of like the collectibles, I think it's a little bit more worth it to spend on the vinyls compared to the plushies, even though I do have some of them. I just feel like the vinyls are easier to like look after and maintain, whereas like the plushies, like they're kind of just plushies if you guys know what I mean, but they're so cute and they're like super soft. Let's move on to this guy over here. So these two guys, they come together and they're called Along The Way. So Kors created the Along The Way sculpture, but then he created the vinyls in 2019. So I didn't cop it when it first released. They restocked this at the NGV, so I picked it up two or three weeks ago. I actually did an unboxing on one of my vlogs. I think the the retail was $5.65 which I think is not too bad because when I try and cop stuff on the course one site after shipping and taxes it really really adds up but the thing is I've actually never purchased anything from the course yeah I haven't actually been successful on the course one site it's so difficult and the thing is that it drops at uh, probably like 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time which is like 2 a.m. here so I always have to wake up like at 2 a.m. like I wake up at 1.50 
get myself ready on my computer to try and cop, but I've never been successful. I have no idea why. But anyway, back to these guys. They are the along the way. They can be like separated, but they do like have their arms around each other. Obviously, they're like two companions. And I posted on my Instagram story, like these two guys just look like me and my friends and how we feel about that Air Dior. L, like so much sadness guys, that's the biggest L for me of 2020. Um, let me set this guy back, okay. Let's move on to like something a bit older. So this guy came out in 2010 and as you guys can see, it is the Dissected Companion Bearbrick in 400% and I have the box here as well. So you guys can see here, it says Cause Companion and then it says Original Fake. So Original Fake was a production company that was founded by Cause and Medicome. So Medicome is the company that creates all these art toys and obviously they produce bad rigs as well. So Cause had this company from like 2006 to 2013 if I'm not mistaken and I think there was a physical store in Japan and I actually never went to it. He had apparel and a lot of really cool stuff. I remember the details of his like jeans always had sort of this like tooth kind of vibe. Hopefully I can find some photos to insert here to show you guys so you know what I'm talking about. But original fake was very very cool. Totally regret not buying any of the pieces. But I do have one very crusty thing from original fake. So it is a tote bag. It is very dirty. It's actually been sitting in my laundry basket for a really long time because I need to wash it. On the inside you can see it does say original fake and it's just like a really simple embroidery. So it is the back of the accomplice which is like the bunny looking guy and he has his arm around the companion so yeah I just think this is just really cute the only thing that I own from like original fake they used to sell it here in someday store in Melbourne because I remember seeing it and I don't know why I didn't buy any of the pieces like now thinking back I'm like I really wish I bought more of his older stuff but yeah so that is the story about original fake uh, what else? So last but not least in terms of my vinyl, this is definitely my favorite out of everything that I have and this guy is called Resting Place so you can see he's a dissected companion. Again, it comes in three different colorways like the black, gray and brown. I have this in the brown colorway. And the crazy thing is, I caught this for retail back in 2013 and this was one of the last few vinyls that was produced by Original Fake and I read that there were only 500 pieces created for each colorway. Uh, so yeah, I can't believe I actually have one of them and apparently the resale value for this at the moment is about like four to five thousand dollars which is I don't know, I just think that's crazy because I copped it for retail back in the day for maybe $400 and how I copped this was that they stopped this at Sunday store here in Melbourne. They don't have it anymore, obviously. They don't stock course anymore. But back in the day, they had it and my friend Beatrice uh, was at Sunday store and she saw it and bought one and then she messaged me saying like, hey, they have the course. Do you want one? And I was just like, oh my God, yeah, please. And she went back, but they only allowed like one per customer. So then she had to get her friend to go to the store to buy one for me, which I'm so glad she did because that is definitely my favorite vinyl out of everything that I have. So those are the vinyls that I have. Let's move on to some plushies. So this guy over here is called Seeing Watching. So this came out when he did the sculpture in Changsha in China. So there is like a BFF and a companion sitting on top of a shopping center if I'm not mistaken. And when I was in Shanghai last year, I actually wanted to fly to Changsha just to like see the sculpture but then I think I ran out of time which I kind of regret not doing because yeah it would have been really nice to be able to see it and like take a photo but when he came up with that sculpture he came up with like the merch I guess and one of them is these little plushies I got this online from like the DDT store another plushie I have is this companion guy so this is part of the course holiday collection if you guys remember he did like a floating like a big floating thing <laughs> um, and I think that moved around and it was like in Hong Kong at some stage and also he did this 
like raffle thing where you could go to this camping thing at Mount Fuji. Am I wrong guys? I can't remember but I'm pretty sure there was like a companion that was lying down under Mount Fuji. I really wanted to go to that and I did not get chosen obviously but that would have been such a fun vlog to do. If any of you guys managed to go to that camping thing can you please let me know in the comments below um, and also like share your experience because I'm just really curious and I really really wanted to go. Again comes in three different colorways. They did also sell this in a box set um, but I did not get that because it was pretty expensive. I think it was over a thousand dollars so I thought to myself like maybe I don't need you know, a thousand dollars worth of plushies in a box. So I kind of just settled for one, which I guess I don't really regret. I mean, at least I have one of them and he is really, really cute. And then another thing I have, I actually thought this was part of the course holiday collection because he looks like it. They did have like this tiny course, like plastic toy thing that I did not get because I remember the retail was actually pretty high for what it is and it was tiny but yeah I really thought this was part of the course holiday collection you guys can see it is a set of plates at the back it just says like NGV so artwork by course so I guess this is part of the NGV drop and maybe the course holiday set was the one that was like blue and white and the size of the plates were a little bit smaller but yeah this was definitely like a panic purchase when I was at the NGV and they had them in stock and I, I don't know guys I always like panic buy things which is really bad because I just spend like way too much money and then realize after I'm like what have I done also speaking of NGV I forgot to take out like the puzzles I've shown you guys the puzzles that they came out with NGV when he had his exhibition they're still in the box I have not even tried making it because the pieces are so small and yeah I don't know I want to actually frame it up but I just haven't gotten around to wanting to make the effort to make that puzzle but I have seen people who have like finished it and it looks really really cute so moving on to more plushies you guys can see this is part of the Kors Peanuts Uniqlo collaboration so they actually came out with the white colorway first in April 2017 and then later in the year they came out with the all black one I think the white one is definitely much cuter but the thing is this guy over here is super super special hold on let me put this guy down first so this particular plushie is super special because if you look at his ear this actually caused signature so the crazy story is that this is signed by Brian Donnelly and the reason why it got signed was because my ex-boyfriend actually went to the airport to wait for Brian Donnelly and he actually met him and got to sign his ear and so yeah he did have like the video of Brian signing it but yeah I don't have that unfortunately I also would play it for you guys so you guys can see um, but yeah that was really cool and the one good thing that came out of that relationship so moving on we have this huge box over here and it is the course Sesame Street Uniqlo collaboration and inside we have all these guys so we have Cookie Monster we have Big Bird, Bird and Ernie and also Elmo so yeah, these definitely sat at Uniqlo for a long time and Bert and Ernie was on sale like everywhere. I feel like they're probably everyone's like least favorite but I bought the box set like on the day of the drop because I I just really wanted the box set. So yeah, those are those guys. I did pick up all the clothing uh, when they release like the Peanuts collection, the Sesame Street as well as just the course collection. So I'm not going to show you guys any of that let me just pop these guys away the next thing i want to show you is this perfume over here so this came out in 2014 it is pharrell with com de garçon and the bottle has course artwork on it so yeah i remember buying this perfume at the com store here in melbourne and i didn't even smell it i just saw it and i'm like oh my god you guys have this and i bought it straight away i remember they had it for quite a long time and it didn't sell out and i wish i bought like a backup or something I bought it just for the bottle I've never actually used the perfume um, and it's been so long now so I think the perfume in there is definitely expired because I just smelt it and it smells really like like musky so <laughs> I can't remember what this is meant to smell like but when I bought it at that time 
I tried using it, but I didn't like the scent anyway. But I just, yeah, like I said, I just really wanted the bottle and I think it's just really, really cute. So I just have some books to show you guys now. Let me just set these guys here. This is one of my favorite cause book. I don't know when I got this, but it is pretty old. And at that time, I got this from Amazon. If you guys are cause fans, I highly recommend this book if you don't have it. There's just like some of his like older work and stuff a lot of like good photos there's like a little like segment where they interview him and i think this is like a really really great read so yeah highly recommend this book and then the other book i have why is there like a name card in there the other book i have is this one over here it's just a course book i think these are just photos from one of his shows so i think this one i copped online and then the next book I have here is not even opened. I got this from Gallery Paratin when I was in New York last year. And obviously have not opened it. And it just says here it was $75. And yeah, I will <laughs> open it at some stage, but I'll just leave it as it is for now. And then last but not least, I have the Cause NGV Companionship in the Age of Loneliness book. This book is also super, super special to me because Cause actually did a book signing here in Melbourne and I think they only sold like 200 tickets and I managed to get one of them so I went to the book signing. So it was really, really cool. So we were all like in an like auditorium and then Cause or like Brian was sitting on the stage and he was like signing people's book for like a solid like two or three hours and he didn't even take a break and I've shown this in one of my previous vlogs but you can see here on the first page there are like these eyes that he drew and says course 19. Pretty sure he drew the same thing for everyone but I just think it's really really cool and when I was like on stage they were like really strict they didn't allow like any phones or like cameras on stage and they also didn't allow you to bring anything else for him to sign um, he was only doing the book signing but i was full on like fangirling <laughs> on stage hopefully it didn't show i was like trying to like remain super cool when i was on stage uh, like sitting like right opposite him but yeah brian's such a cool guy <laughs> i have a few more things to show you guys i'm sorry if this video is like really long i have like two more items to show you guys and this is part of the dior course collaboration this came out spring summer 19 and it was kim jones first collection with dior men's so you guys can see i have the card holder here at that time, I was just so desperate for something with the bees. They sold out in the Melbourne store, but they managed to find one in the Sydney store, so they got it transferred. I've never actually used this. I just kind of want to keep it. I can't remember how much I paid for this one. The other thing is also this pouch here. Again, it is brand new, but you can see it does have all the tiny little Dior Course bees. Super, super cute. I don't know, guys. I'm just buying things to like keep at this stage i don't plan on using these items but maybe one day and i just feel like they are like nice pieces to just have in my collection so the very last course thing that i want to show you guys i don't know whether this counts as part of the course collection but it is actually my course tattoo so you can see on the back of my arm there are like two crosses because obviously um they are the eyes on all his characters and so yeah i guess you guys can tell that I just really really love cause and I had to do like a quick wardrobe change because I was wearing the jumper before and I was trying to like roll up the sleeve so I could show you guys my tattoo but it wouldn't like go past like here so I had to change um, but this is also part of the cause Dior collection that came out last year and this is probably one of my favorite items that I own and I actually wear it quite a lot um, but yeah guys, that is my course collection video. I know it was a little bit long, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite piece or let me know about your course collection, whether you have any of the older stuff like the Accomplice or Charm or Bendy. But yeah, that is pretty much it for me today. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye.